My name is Larry Lawton. For 10 years, when I saw places like this, I had one idea, rob them. Maybe did a bad, bad thing. This was my playground. Maybe did a bad, bad thing. Jewelry stores, car dealerships, bad, clothing stores, warehouses, you name it, I robbed it. I stole over $15 million in diamonds. I was the biggest jewel robber in America, then I got caught. I spent 11 years in maximum security prisons, and I came out a changed man. Now I use what I know to help business owners stop guys like me. I'm Larry Lawton, and this is Maximum Security. There's been a lot of robberies in this area in the last six months. Boutiques have been getting hit. A shop not far away got hit for about $35,000 and stuff. And they think it's a high-end robber. It's professional. To catch a professional, you need a professional. Tony, how you doing, buddy? Larry, good to see you, bud. He's the owner of one of the premier cigar shops in the area. I mean, they got probably $100,000 worth of cigars. They got high-end memorabilia. It doubles as also a bar as well. I caught wind of a couple robberies. Uh, there's been another cigar shop that got hit. You know my store. I've got a lot of high-end stuff there. I'm really, really concerned that something could happen to me. I could be the next guy getting hit. Well, you came in the right guy. I don't want your, I don't want your staff to know anything. I want you to keep this between us. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rob you. I'm going to actually rob you to find out where your weaknesses are. It takes a thief to know a thief. And I was the best there ever was. When you get robbed, call me. Don't call the cops. <laughs> Robbing people is not as easy as people think. But I prepare. I'm a professional prepare. To case a store is the most important thing you can do. I'm gonna live and breathe that store for X amount of time. There's the back end of the store. There's no cameras. There's no cameras with the store next to him. There's no cameras to the store that was right. Case the back. Now it's time to go in the store. I'm going to go inside the store as a customer to really pinpoint the value of what's in that store. You know, you got to first figure out if there's enough money in the store. How you guys doing? Is it worth your chance? Is it just the cigars? Does he have high dollar items in there that I don't know about? Joe DiMaggio signed memorabilia. That's 10 grand right there. Any robber who does high-end robberies know there's always going to be a gem in there. The gem is the Joe DiMaggio picture. Here's the high dollar room right here. $250 a box. $350. Wow, there's a lot of money in here. camera up on the left, okay. That whole entire security system, it's either gonna have a VCR or a computer. It's going into a main office. I'll just take it with me. They won't even have any footage of what I did. Now I have to know I can get away with it. That's the most important part. This window is perfect for a robbery. And I see two cameras, one right there to the left. They do have motion detectors inside the store. It's an old system. It doesn't go direct to the cop. So already they wasted a couple of minutes right there. Tony thinks he's got alarm system. It's I could care less about that alarm system. Take care, have a nice day. It's like, it's like a treasure trove, I love it. The adrenaline is flowing right now. I love it, I can't wait to rob this place. <laughs> When I'm not working, I really enjoy life. Who's in? It used to be about money. It's not about money. It's about friends. I learned that in prison. I rob a store in Sarasota, Florida. While I'm doing the jewelry store, two old people walk into the jewelry store. Right, what do you mean by old people? By your age. <laughs> I said, you come with me, sit down, 
just close your eyes. And when I leave, you gotta wait five minutes. The next day in the newspaper, this old people was interviewed, they go, he was a nice man. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta go. Yeah, sure. I'm sure we got the wrong place. That's what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah. Make sure it's not one of mine, Larry. <laughs> 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 You know, robbing a store now, even as a professional to help business owners, it's a rush. An adrenaline rush state, like you'll never understand. To go. Tonight's the night we rob Executive Cigar. I'm in pretty much a dark outfit. Rubber sole, very light, won't slip. The only reason I don't have a ski mask on is because I'm gonna get his security camera where he keeps his tape. My number one tool, a screwdriver. This is my key to a robbery. Pop, put it back in the pocket, I'm done. Here's where I put all the stuff that's important. I don't want to damage those cigar box. At three, four, five hundred dollars a box, there's twenty thousand dollars in three pillowcases. Ear light. Wherever my head goes, it goes. Extra gloves, just in case I rip something. In all my career, I've never been caught in a store. I know how to get away. You don't want to ride around with bad plate. But just in case somebody sees me, the first thing they'll do is get the plates. And once they run the plates, it's going to be a totally different car. After the robbery, the first stop I make is change back to a legitimate plate. Once I pop that window, I know I got five to seven minutes. I want to be out of there in three. You got to hit this thing in I'm getting all the high-end cigars. All of these, $300, $400 a box. $1961. Patels. Wow. Caught me at $15,000. Right. Time. Time. I'm on a run. We're only about two minutes right now. Right on time. Can't forget my jewel. Joe DiMaggio. $10,000. Right I don't want to mess this up. Oh, baby. We're at three minutes. Let's see what he did. Do I need a screwdriver? He didn't even do that. Security system. And he doesn't have me on tape. We're gone. Oh, baby. I'm out of here. Off comes the gloves. Off comes the earpiece. This is my getaway. I planned this getaway. I know what I got in the back of this car. I got a $10,000 picture. Each one of those bags, seven to 8,000. Took me about three and a half minutes to do this whole job. We're home free. There's no way I'm going to chance anything right now. How you doing, Tony? Oh, my God. I got you. Dude, you scared the shit out of me. I'm an expert. How's that oh look? Oh, my God. I feel sick to my stomach. You do have sensor lights. They're always good. You need to mount a little camera. Makes me get, wow, is he on monitor that early? Can I get it? All you need is a screen. I would have to either have a cutter or some kind of thing to get through it. When I cased your store, if I saw a sign that said, direct to police, I would get nervous. And that really helps? I don't care that it's not. But the robber thinks it is. That's all that counts. My first goal was where was your money? 100, 200, 300, 400. $500 items. What am I gonna go for? So it's all based on time. You just, you, you grabbed as much as you could in, in it, three minutes? Understanding my time, yes. My picture? If you secure that right to the wall, I could not have taken that picture. I would have to get a screwdriver out. I have to try to pop it. I might damage the picture. I don't want to do that. 
by locking this that cuts down your three minutes of stealing time. Absolutely. What do you got? Seven, nine, ten cameras? You got a lot. I took your security system. This is it. Get it done. It's not a lot of money. Just make the signs. Put the alarm system up. Put the back window grating I told you about. Make the changes. They did a bad, bad thing. Next time it's not gonna be me. They did a bad, bad thing.